hi friends welcome to my learning points youtube channel today i will show you the basic introduction of php to get my all videos please subscribe on learning points youtube channel video gallery please subscribe my channel and click on notification button so that you will not miss any videos so the today's topic introduction of php this video will introduce very basis of php currently we all know that it market is going drastically and we need to grab all updated things to keep update every time so this is the first video tutorial of php if you see from first video to the last step by step i will discuss each and every topics of php so in this video i will give you some overall concept of php so before learning php the first thing you should know what is php before that if you have some basic knowledge of html and css you will get some advantage but if not you should not worry about that i will guide you step by step to learn php easily so what is php php is hypertext speed processor so another question why it is hypertext speed processor when any person request for any php page in the in their address bar of the browser that request is fast Sent to the server means when request PHP the uh, from browser first that request first sent to the server then server interpret PHP files and return back response in form of HTML means what we can see when you click any any request from browser it directly goes to the server and server interpret the php files and return back the response means what we can see after after entering that is called response so php is a server side scripting language as it is a server side scripting language web developer will use database to create dynamic web pages and it is a widely used language and the most important thing is the open source php can be downloaded freely and can be used as free it is in a powerful language as a core of blogging system that is wordpress we know wordpress the wordpress site is using php language to create their web pages so wordpress is using php and it also deep enough to use a large website also maybe you know that wikipedia facebook yahoo even google also using php to build their website so we can understand how powerful the php is so now i want to know how we can create PHP file means what is PHP file? How we can create this? Basically, for a text file, suppose if you want to create any text file, we create a file and the uh, and added the name and the extension is .txt. So if we save any file at uh, .txt as an extension then that file becomes the .txt file same like if we save dot doc that is uh, that became the doc file is document file in the same way while saving file if we use dot php as an extension that file will become php file okay so now we we know how to create PHP file 
now i want to share <clears throat> what can php do means we know, now we create dot php file but why we use uh, what can php do so the very basics question the php can generate dynamic web pages can do crude operations crude means create read update delete can collect data from server we know that php is server side scripting language so it basically interact with server server means in server side database can receive cookies and also can modify database database means uh, we can select that means in crude operation the read what we read actually it's coming from database means from database if we uh, select something it will appear in our browser that is read operation means crude and same way we can create something we can delete something we can update something in php we have no limited output we can output images files even flash movies also we learn uh, both we uh, all we learn step by step so now the question is there are many language in market so why we learn php we learn php because it is not a platform dependent means any platform like linux mac windows in any platform we can use php and php will run with no error and there are a number of server application to run php file like apache is wam many there are many servers and it support a huge range of database and if flawlessly we can use that and there is a good support of php also we have official website php.net we can check all we can check that uh, we, we will get the updated um, uh, updated versions and up all updated things we can update from php.net and uh, php can interact with mysql database mysm ionodb database even oracle can interact with php and another point i am repeating again php is free so for development it is required less amount of cost okay so in this video we got some basic concept of php and i will show you everything step by step please follow my next video in next video i will show you how to install and set up php and will show you some overview of syntax and some related things so if you like this video tutorial please like the video to encourage me for more video don't forget to comment if you have any queries or any doubts thank you